Later in the afternoon on October 5th, our squadron received word that one of our best pilots, Yakov, would be transferring over next door to the squadron flying MiG-3s. In return, I would receive his old I-16, all painted up with a big 34 on the side, as well as some personalized nose art. The mechanics also painted two marks on the side of my machine for the two messers I managed to shoot down earlier today. At 1400 hours, we received an alert. Enemy bombers were crossing the front lines once again. Back up we went. Hello everybody, Wolfpack here, and welcome back to the Battle of Moscow and our I-16. As you can see, we're sitting on the runway with our freshly painted I-16, or not so freshly painted I-16 actually, and we are taking off to intercept German bombers that are currently penetrating our airspace. Looks like that aircraft is rolling, time to throttle up. There we go. Let's go ahead and make sure we have uh, Adjust our radiators a little bit. There we go. Perfect. Trying to stay nice and steady. As you can see, there are five of us going up this time to try to intercept the German bombers. Gear up. Start cranking that up. It actually takes around 50 cranks to raise and lower the gear all the way. Yuri has gotten airborne once again for his fourth sortie, actually. This will be his fourth over the span of two days. Apparently, the bombers are in a brand new location. Let's check our map. The bombers are about to head over the front lines there. It'll be interesting to see how we get them. And if you remember our first episode, we intercepted German bombers as well, and it did not go very well for us. It was an absolute bloodbath, so... Hopefully today is not a repeat of that event. Okay, gear is retracted, much better. Close up our radiators just a little bit here. And everything is operating smoothly. And we're gonna fly over Rajev here. And as we circle to head west towards the targets, they shouldn't be too far actually. It should be just a short journey uh, to the enemy bombers. Hopefully there's not a massive swarm of BF-109s escorting them as well. As those F-4s are quite hairy to tangle with. Uh, the E-Series I can hold my own against fairly well, but the Fs do have quite a significant advantage over us. Okay, well, I suppose that's all I have for the time being. I'm just going to climb with my comrades here, and uh, I'll get back to you guys when we're relatively close to the action. Okay, we just got a radio call out that the enemies are close and we made a sudden turn. I do not see enemy aircraft just yet. It's very possible they may be out here. Throttle down here a little bit. I have my, my eyes peeled. I don't see any enemies. We're making a slight right hand turn once again. Those 109s can come out of any out of anywhere, so I'm very cautious. Okay, we can go ahead and throw it back up here. Um, thought I saw something, but didn't actually not see an aircraft. It's just a speck of dust on my monitor. What a classic. Um, oh, tally. M lots of aircraft. Looks like nine enemy aircraft over there. Those are definitely bombers. Definitely the target. Or below them, which is less less than ideal, to be honest. Okay, apparently there's fighters nearby as well. Although I do not see the enemy fighters. 
like we're circling this area. I don't know if uh, our flight lead sees them just yet, but I'm going to engage with the rest of the flight. Don't want to get in there by myself and get torn to shreds by those uh, rear gunners there. Doesn't matter if they're HE-111s or JU-88s, both are quite intimidating for us. Just kind of keep my eye on them. There they are, right at 6 o'clock. As long as I know where they are. Looks like we're kind of circling this area waiting for them. Now, if it were me, I'd, I'd climb up to a reasonable altitude. I don't know if you folks can even see them there. I'm not seeing enemy fighters. No enemy fighters. They may be tangled up with another flight or something. I'm not going to, uh, I'm not upset, don't get me wrong. I'm okay with that. Oh wow, they are really damn close. Nine kilometers according to uh, Sizov there. We are above them, okay. Probably gonna go for, maybe the leading ones may be our best bet. They're JU-88s. So they don't have uh, forward gunners, really. Well, let's just put it this way. They have more guns facing behind them than in front, so. That may be able to protect us a little bit. Good luck, comrades. And they're already opening fire. Oh, some of the e shacks are already going in. Wow. Okay. Let's join our comrades. I'll go for number three right there. Is... Got missed. Holy cow. That is just a hail of gunfire. That is insane. Okay, over the top. Let's go back in on one of them. Try to actually, we'll go for the one that's already damaged. Good hits, engine. We, in turn, got our wing clipped a little bit. That one's on fire. Looks like none of the damage was serious, just our wing. Perfect. And there, she's going down. Okay, we'll go for our third flight here in the back. Oh no, one of our pilots is wounded. Well, be careful. Okay, let's dive in fast. Another one's wounded, jeez. We're just getting torn up here. Okay, time to go. Got that one leaking coolant, maybe fuel as well. Hard to tell from this range. Fighters to the southeast. Right behind me. There he is. 109s. Okay, I think it's time to go. One bomber destroyed, one damaged. There's the 109s up high. Where's that one that passed me? Another e shack. Let's 
stressing out our engine a little bit as well. Okay, a 109 just made a pass on one of ours. Oh no, who is that? That's an I-16 on fire. We're on this one. To do a deflection shot here. Oh, we'll see if I can turn. Oh no. That poor I-16 hopefully bails out, and now another 109's joined the fight. Less than ideal. I think it may be time to uh, disengage and try to slip away. Okay, we're fine. Time to go home. Oh no, he's not on my six. I can control it. I have a lot of rudder deflection here. Get out of here. All right, time to go home. Engine's damaged. Got it, got it, got it. Shit. I may have to ditch. Definitely, something, something's very. Oh boy. Okay. Now my worry right now is we're over enemy lines, but I don't think we are. Oh, uh, oil spilling all out. Crime! I just got this plane. Okay, I think that's actually Rajev right there. Where's our airfield? That's not Rajev, but I think we're near a friendly one. God, this is another one. Let's hide. I don't want to get pilot killed here. He's still shooting at me. Just have to kind of, you know, wobble back and forth. Run out of ammo. Go somewhere else. Okay, we're by, we're up here. Okay, I know where we are. We're very close to Rajev. There's an airfield right there, that's where I'm going. Oh my gosh, there's three on me. I figured they'd be, hopefully not everyone else is dead. Yeah, I'm so slow, they're having trouble. Please stop. <laughs> uh, I don't think asking nicely is working. There's another eye shack on them, chasing them from behind. There's quite a few over there. My plane is torn to shreds. Okay, there's an airfield. Wow. Tough little plane, that's for sure. We are very difficult to hit, and yeah, more I-16s having tangled with the rest of the 109s. Good luck, fellas. Okay, we just have to pass this little river here. Hopefully my machine does not give out. I don't even know if I'm gonna be able to lower my landing gear here. Okay, there's a neighboring airfield. I do recognize it. That's the airfield the IL-2s took off in the previous episode. I could land there, or I could try to push it. <sighs> it 
This is a tough one. Okay, let's stop boosting. Um, Rajab should be, where is it? There she is. That's it right there. I don't even think I'm, I think I'm just going to try to belly land here. I feel like if I lower my landing gear, it's going to take too long, A, and we're just going to drop out of the sky. So I'm going to risk it. We'll just belly land and get our plane back in one piece relatively. Jeez, look at all that. But at least we're alive, A. That was very close. Very, very close. And uh, B, our aircraft is in repairable shape. What the hell is that? Dude, another 109. These guys do not know when to give up. I could try to drag them over this airfield here and drag them over our anti-air. Okay, let's start boosting. Really pour on the coal. He's firing. I've been fooling, flying with full left rudder deflection here. Come on, come on. Almost there. Almost there. I see it. It's a little longer. The plane is making very concerning noises. I don't even know if I want to try to land on the runway. We're boosting as well. Our engines, oh god, it's coming back around. It's shooting. Oh sh Help me, airfield, and start firing. Do something. I, I don't even want to look at them. Okay, the ground defenses have opened up. Blow them out of the sky. Red flare. Engine's overheating. Hello. Hello, comrades. Nice to see you. Try to get near the runway anyway. All right, this is gonna have to do. Hold tight. <sighs> wow. That was nuts. That was nuts. <laughs> Let's look at our plane like one of our ailerons fell off but that was in um due to the landing wow wow that is that was pretty wild and i was flying the whole time with full left rudder deflection there to even keep it stable so uh it looks like that 109 decided to leave once it saw me crash on our airfield but thankfully yuri's still alive with very light injuries that plane has definitely seen much, much better days. That was brutal. Absolutely brutal. Good job, Yuri. Getting it back home. The mechanics will patch this one up in no time. <laughs> I have a feeling. Oh, wow. That was probably definitely one of the closest calls I've had. Um, I'm happy we made it back to our home airfield. I almost bailed out there, especially after... Um, the second round of 109s came in and hit me right at the very end. My engine started making that whining noise. I almost hit the silk, but I guess it's a good thing I didn't and I was able to bring it back. Anyway, we'll see how I and the rest of the squadron did.
All right, and here we have it. We managed to make an emergency landing and we destroyed one JU-88. I guess the second one we damaged was able to nurse itself back home on probably one engine. It looks pretty rough, but that's okay. You can see we took off, got in quite a scrap. JU-88 destroyed, I-16 destroyed. Another friendly I-16 destroyed. And there's also some combat way over here. More I-16s. I don't know if this was my squadron, but that is interesting. And then down here, uh, Wolfpack 345 destroyed and crash landed. Okay, we'll finish and see how the rest of the squadron did. See if there's any casualties. These bomber intercept missions are just absolutely brutal, though. Oh, Yuri Antonov was wounded in action. So I actually was wounded. Looks like I'll be sent to the hospital. I did receive 1,000 rubles for shooting down the JU-88, however. And it looks like... Oh, here we go. Yeah, wow. Okay, lots of pilots were wounded, but no one was killed in action. So three of us are going to be sent to a hospital. And we managed to destroy two aircraft. Um, it looks like Timur Vilk here also shot down a JU-88 as well, a heavy aircraft. But I wonder... Yep, we're all wounded, so we'll see how long I'm in the hospital for. Should be interesting, but that is the last mission for Yuri today. Thankfully, no one was killed, everyone was just wounded. And while I'm in the hospital, I'm sure the, the mechanics will be able to fix up good old number 34 here. Anyway, I hope you all enjoyed this episode. It cert certainly was a nail biter. Like I said, this is a dead is dead series. So if Yuri kicks it, that is going to be the end of the Battle of Moscow series here. But regardless, I hope you all enjoyed it. Thank you all for watching. If you did enjoy, please be sure to leave a like as it really helps out the channel. But until next time, this is Wolfpack345 signing off and I'll see you all on the next one.